Good morning. So today's when I get nervous because I'm headed out of town for a day and a night. Not even a full day because I waited late to do my barn chores. And I get nervous because um, although my husband's going to be home, he don't know nothing about my animals. And that's what makes me nervous. It's because he doesn't know anything. And it's not his fault he doesn't know anything. I mean, what are you supposed to do? And he's really not interested in learning. He's like, those aren't my animals. I'm not. So, it just it is what it is. There's not much you can do about it. And I have people I could call for an emergency. So anyway, I'm going to make sure that every hay thing is packed full of hay. The waters are filled to the brim. He'll come out and check waters and he'll water if they need to. And if they didn't have hay, he'd throw it over into the pen. I'm not saying he won't come out and do anything. He's not going to come in here like I am and untie things and put hay in the hay feeders and tie them back up. <coughs> but it's my thing. It's not his thing. He never wanted to be a farmer, as he tells me repeatedly. Did you follow me, ladies? Are you chasing me? Let me shut this door here so you don't go in here. You try and get into the grain bins. You tip them over because they're just garbage cans that would tip over very easily. So this is more than enough hay for a day. And it will be close to 30 hours, I would guess, depending on how early I leave. Hey, hi. Well, hello, Pip. Hello, Pippi. Already, my brand new babies from this year are not as friendly as my bottle babies. But I didn't want to have to try and milk, knowing I'm going to be out of town. And I really think that my breeding needs to be done in June when I'm not working. Well, when I'm not working my job that pays to have a farm. Does that make sense? Really? Oh my goodness, Pip. What are you doing? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Hmm? So I don't have the bungee cords for this one. So I just tie it. Keeps them from knocking it over. All right, brush hay. And look at them, out here looking for more food. Oh, you two are trouble. Trouble. You don't look like you're bagging up. You got a little bit of a belly. It's almost warming time again, so. Come on, I got a little bit more corn. It's just a little bit. Come on, pretty girl. Mom, I love bugs. There you go. There you go. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Where are we at? We did the two at the far end, and we did this one. Did the chickens, and now I've got screaming mama. And cinnamon. Screaming mama and cinnamon. I need a water for cinnamon. Yeah, I'm going to do you next. Yeah, I know. You're stuck. You already ate yours, Cassie. Did I even move the camera so you could see? No, you're looking at the wall. You're looking at the blank wall. It's no fun to watch the blank wall, is it? I put that blanket on uh, Beatrice. There's that purple one. She was shivering. 
Which kid's taking it off? So I took it off. She's not gonna wear it. I'm giving uh, Autumn a big water because I know she drinks a lot. Hi! Hi! How's my Cassie? Cinnamon, you are such a pain in my tush. You are horrible. You haven't even touched your water. How do you look? Nope, no bag. I'm just checking to make sure nobody's bagging up on me. She has plenty of hay. It's just her in there. All right, Mommy. Gracie, are you beating up on Mama? Hi, Gracie. Hi, Gracie girl. Hi, Tinnaman. My precious little girl. I'm going to leave some water out here. As you can hear, it's raining. Really coming down. Yes, Artie. I'm going to do Artie's. <laughs> I'm tired of fighting with him. So, when, hey, Autumn's such a good girl. She doesn't jump up on the thing. That's because Stephanie, my daughter, trained her. Yeah, so she drinks a little over a gallon a day. This is a two-gallon bucket. So, hi, Blitzy. Oh, let's see. Your hay is still stuffed full. Do you like some minerals? You still have some. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, artichokey. Hi, Blitz. I hear, I hear ghosts out there coughing. Oh, this cough doesn't get better. It worries me. There's not much, not a lot they'll do. Um, he only coughs a lot when it's like this time of year. And he's stuck. There's chicken. Chicken. I need to start buying my coffee in these metal cans so I can use them instead. Does it last longer? You're gonna come down here with me. There you go. Yeah, I don't give you yours until after I, uh, till right before I can hang the hay right after because you're a butthead. No eggs, ladies? I don't know what I think about that. Oh, there we go. I have a fresh water for you, too. All right. It squish as much hay as I can in the Artie's hay bag. You're the last one inside that I need to deal with. Then I'll go out. And I'm going to haul a couple of bales of hay. I should take the wheelbarrow, make it easier. A little bit easier. Not completely easier. And sometimes he eats all his hay. Sometimes he doesn't. So I'll just ask John to make sure that he checks his hay. Oh my goodness. Listen to that rain. Ooh Now this is when our basement floods. It shouldn't be bad this year at all because we don't have, you know, three feet of 
snow outside that this is melting. I mean, we have snow, it's melting, but not, not the amount we can get. Oh, I could shove some more hay in here. Oh, look at that. Let's shove this full. Well, as full as we can get it. You have to be careful shoving hay into bags. If you're not careful, it will get caught. You will poke little pieces of hay in your finger. Under your fingernail. Things you're like, I didn't know it could even do that. And you're like, surprise! It sure can. It sure can. I hear you snorting at me. You just need to chill. I'm going as fast as I can without hurting myself. If I get hurt, who's going to take care of your dumb butt? Hmm? That's a lot of hay. That's what I need. Oh my. Whew. My friend was asking about uh, meat birds. This is the one that we're going in. Havies and doing. Just be getting cows. Start talking about getting cows and I get a slight stomach ache. Like, oh god, there's another animal I gotta learn about. I gotta figure out how to do stuff. And they're so big. You know, they're not pretty like horses. <laughs> Gonna make me want to have them. I'm coming. Sorry, I yelled in your ear. Ghost is bellowing out there like he's dying. He's not. He just wants oats because I didn't give him oats last night. He thinks he needs oats like five times a day. And he does not need oats five times a day. All right. We are all done in here. Pick up these buckets. I knew the squalls were going to be bad this morning, early morning when I would be on the road. So I thought that I would. Huh. My alarm's going off saying I have to go to work. <laughs> no, I don't. It's spring break. I don't have to go to work right now. Happy makes me happy. I did go in yesterday, though. So I had to rearrange my... I need to make sure I give the cat food while I'm in here. I had to rearrange my classroom to move around the aquaponics. <clears throat> so, that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. So I took moved a bunch of stuff around. I'm not gonna get a big bucket of water. That will be okay. Uh horses. Let's worry about everybody got full hay bales. Yes. Yes. Yes, we did. Now we gotta move some hay up for horses. In the olden days, farmers had um, lofts, so like the hay would be stored above the stalls, and there would be a drop floor that dropped into a hay manger that ran along the inside wall, and you would just go up there, drop the hay in, and it would go into their hay bear, hay things. Itch. Was an idea I don't know what we got away from. Seems kind of silly not to keep doing that. It works so well. Seems mighty ridiculous in this, if you ask me. But hey. Ooh, listen to that. I see. Turkey lurkey. Pew, pew, pew. Okay. Hey, CD. Hey, baby boy. 
I don't think I'm going to fill hay bags. I think what I'm going to do is just grab hay. Two bales and put two bales out here. Yeah, because I still have some there. And even though it's rainy and muddy, they're going to be out looking for fresh grass. Because they're like, we don't like that other stuff. We would rather have the fresh stuff coming up. So when I got up at four, because the dogs still think it's a work week. So this was all covered with snow yesterday. I had to have my husband plow out a, you see where he plowed it. And I have the rope there. Most of the time the horses will, they won't push on it. They can, but they don't normally push on it. I don't normally. I don't know how normal we're going to be. All right. You know, it's dark in here. This is I worry about running into a skunk. Yeah, I should have brought the wheelbarrow. This is heavy. Yeah, see, look how that water pools right there. We had a French drain system, but people before us drove their heavy tractors and shit over it and crushed it. I don't know. People are stupid. If you're going to put a French drain in on a farm, you need to make sure it's deep. So I think I'm going to leave you guys right here for a minute. You can watch me waddle down that way with this bale of hay. And I'm going to put one in here in the corner. Oh. It should be so skinny. What is this? With a spare tire. All right. Okay. This one here. Ooh. Hear him coughing in there. The ghost. That's the only problem with winter or clear. When it's not winter, it's hot. It's hot. And then you're like, it's hot. It's too hot for this. I find that if I spread the hay out, you're less likely to dry. Pull it out. Step all on it. So it's like, oh, is this bedding? This hay? Am I supposed to step on this? Yeah, ghost is going to be out in the field today. It's the rain lets up a little, he'll be out there. Doesn't like to be there. Just, uh, that's why he likes this run in so much. Which I don't blame him. I mean, he could stand out here look for a couple miles. Hey, Robin. Glad to see you guys are around. Yeah? Oh.
such a muddy, mucky mess this time of year. But it's so nice to know that summer's on its way. I have so much work to do to clean all this out this year. Hi. Hi, ghosty. You coming out? Put hay out here. I'm not putting the hay in there. You're coughing. You need fresh air. Pigeons. Yeah. In the summer, I'm going to take some gates. And I'm going to put posts in. And I'm going to put them across that big opening so I can have that door open all summer. Because I always leave the back door open in the summer. And I'll have this front door open. Mm-hmm. And it'll be nice in here. And it won't be so dusty and coffee. It won't be so coffee and dusty. I did leave that door open behind you, but it's got the rope on it, and they should be okay. Hopefully, I won't be stupid. You try to take off. Mm -hmm. More bail. And this one I'm just going to leave in the dusty arena. This one's lighter than the other one. So your bales, your orchard, or your plain old grass hay, <coughs> should be, is it 40 to 50 or 40 to 60 pounds? Oh, maybe I will put it out there. Not, uh, this bucket out here. I'll grab it. Hopefully it won't go flying from the street. With our wind, you never know. <laughs> Stuff can take off and be gone. So, out for a bumpy ride here. So, ooh, ooh. You want the set weight for your bales. Because you sell them by the ton most of the time. Um, at least that's how they do it commercially. See that gate right there? It'll be perfect. Yeah, see? He pulled it out. He's a butthead. Now don't be stepping on that ding dong. All right, Mom, I will. I'll step right on it for you. But you said step on it, right? Ghost is like, I'll poop on it. You want me to poop on it? No. I want you to poop on stuff. I can leave the string on. Because unlike goats, I'll just leave one string on. I don't want it to blow away. Unlike goats, I won't eat the string. Ooh, a knife. All right, all you do is check their water, make sure the water's small. Although there's plenty of water out there in the ditches now. <laughs> I'll wash their water tub, fill it up with beautiful clean water, look up and they'll go out and drink out of the pond. <sighs> Are you two sharing? Is that what you're doing? What good boys. Yeah. Is that enough hay for 24 hours? It's going to have to be. That's two and a half bales. Yeah. You normally only eat one bale a day. Yeah, I know. No <sighs> oh, ghost. Yeah. 
has asthma on horses, you call it heaves. Give him an antihistamine that may help him a little bit. I'll look for some antihistamine when I'm at the feed store. Otherwise, I'll order it. Well, well, it doesn't help that the hay is dusty. Yeah, you can't fix that. Unless I water it down. And when I put two bales out, you're not going to eat it fast enough for it to not get moldy and he's susceptible to mold. And he'll break out in hives and have issues with that. Ghost. Oh, ghost. Oh, handsome boy. What are you doing, baby? Hmm? Are you a good boy? Sometimes. Yeah, we're going to keep the... At least you get a nice breeze out here. Are you coming to say hi? <clears throat> oh, honey. Oh, honey bunny. I'll look for some antihistamine. How does that sound? Would you like that? Yeah, you can't be inside eating. I need to bring your grain out here now. Now on. Look at those pigeons. They are horrible parents. Horrible parents, I tell you. Yeah, poor ghost. I was just, what do we do if he dies? I said, we're going to have to call a neighbor with a backhoe. Yeah, see, they're not even drinking out of this right now. They're out there drinking out of it. The drains. So in the field, we've got like little ditches for the water to run into. Shoot my rain gauge out. See what kind of rain we're getting. That makes me happy because our pond was low. John was like, hey, drain, I'm going to fill it in. I don't argue with them anymore. I just go, okay. I'll wait till you're sleeping. I'll put the hose in and fill it back up. All right. Everybody is good. I think I'm going to give you a flake of hay because that bag is not a big bag. So I'm going to take this nice big flake of hay. It's not like this stall is in a hot mess right now. I'm going to set it right here by the door. There you go. Try not to stand on it. Rowan, try, try not to stand on it. Can you do that for me? He's like, nope. I'm going to stand right on it and look out the stall doors. There you go. You got to stay down here. Because the girls can't get along. And you didn't want to try and get along with them either. And you're nice and quiet. All they do is scream. All right, water, tons of food. Water. Oh, hey. Hi, Cindy. Hi, princess. My little girl. What's up with your ear? You're rubbing it. Where's my little princess? Oh, there she is. Hi, Gracie. Hi, Gracie girl. Hi, Gracie baby girl. Baby goats. Blitzy! You should come say goodbye to me. Look, come say goodbye to me. I gotta look for goat minerals too when I'm there. Gracie, Grace. Blitzy. Blitzel. Blitzel, baby. Look at those horns already. Look, Blitzel, baby. Are you really gonna rear at me? You are going to rear at me. Adam, you're on camera. Don't pee on camera. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, man? Can you see? You know, she's like, um, I'm done with this baby. He's headbutting me, and I'm about done with it. All right. I think everybody is good. Full haze, full waters. Big light on. We are ready to get out of here. Whew. 
You guys have a great day. I'm going to go in, take a shower, and get out of town. All right? I will. Don't know if I'm going to make a video then, so I'll try and upload this this afternoon when I'm at my parents. Because I got speedy internet. Lightning fast. You know, they live in the city. Not like those of us who have to have Starlink, or we don't have any. Anyway, have a good day.